Hey guys, Rob Lewis here, and today we've got another match day vlog for you guys. It's Thursday night, it's Europa League action, it's Manchester United versus Real Sociedad. It is United's first group stage game, and it's at home, which is something. And it isn't quite Champions League football on a Tuesday or Wednesday night, but hey ho, it's a chance of winning a competition and one that I think, from my perspective, we can achieve some way or another. Um, and Real Sociedad, they are ninth in the Spanish La Liga. So, mm, I don't know. I, I'm confident tonight. I'll go through predictions later. But they seem like quite an easy opponent. They have got David Silva. So, they have got a few names from the Premier League. Um, we, I think, I think Ten Hag might rest some players. Obviously, we've got Crystal Palace away on Sunday. So, might, might see likes of Martin Dubravka starting there. And maybe Ronaldo might get a start. Come and join me and let's find out. Alright guys, here's tonight's starting eleven. So we've got De Gea, Dallo, Maguire, Lindelof, Malassia, Casemiro, Fred, Eriksson, Anthony, and then Anthony Alanga, and then Ronaldo. And on the bench, you've got Heaton, Dubravka, Martinez, Van Bissaka, Varane, Fredrickson, Iqbal, McNeil, McTominay, Garnacho, Fernandez, and Sancho. Come on, United. This is the UEFA Europa League. May please welcome Real Sociedad and Manchester United. Manchester United shares the sorrow of the entire nation following the announcement from Buckingham Palace on the passing of Her Majesty the Queen. The club recognises her immense contribution to public life, including sport, both here in the United Kingdom, across the Commonwealth and around the world. Everyone connected with Manchester United joins the wider football family in sending our deepest condolences and heartfelt sympathy to the Royal Family. Old Trafford, please stand to observe a moment of silence in her memory. Come on, United. Oh! Yeah, it's under the cross. Just quite miss Ronaldo's head. Guys, it's half time now, 0 0. Oh dear me. Uh, what do you think of that first half? It was very tedious to yeah, it's sit frustrating, here. But, uh, it's, it's got that feel of a Thursday night Europa League game where you really don't want to be playing. No. And guess what? It is. Uh, nothing really much to write home about. 
uh, touches. Uh, there's been some nice little touches here and there. But ultimately, the passing's not been there. The last third disallowed goals offside with Ronaldo in it. Really, real, real Sociedad have not really offered much. No. You get what you get in these games. It's got the feel of a friendly and a disjointed uh, European game. Uh, I don't know uh, where a goal's coming from, but let's see if the uh, Stretford end can suck one into the back of the net. That's what uh, we're good at doing, scoring goals towards the end. But now, I mean, we've got, got Jane and Fernandez, likes of them on the bench, so we need to be able to bring them up. Oh, we, should should be be, we shouldn't rely on that. I mean, Sausage that aren't great. Well, we're, well, They've made lots of mistakes, Sussy Dad, and we've not cashed oh, in on them. Our passing's not been that great done, so. We've been passing it left to right. You know, the final ball's not been there, so hence it's nil-nil. So, yeah. So just let's see what the second half brings us. Yeah. Goals, 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 goals. I don't think my 4-1 prediction's going to be crap, but we'll see. As it finished 1 0 to uh, Real Sociedad. It was just, we couldn't string passes together, we couldn't find the back of the net basically. And it ended up coming down to a, I think it was a handball by Martinez. Nothing much he can do really, um, natural position I suppose. But it's just so frustrating. Um, I don't know what to say really, I mean the team selection was strong enough really, there's no excuses basically, we just didn't take our chance. McGuire, we weren't at the race today, and we've got to look at ourselves, Palace on Sunday, um, well, first of all this chair has something to do with it. you got your unlucky shirt basically, on. Basically I've worn this we, at all the home games. We, right? we're, only, uh, we're only lucky when you wear that white top of it. So, so I wore this against Brighton, I think it was, and we lost. 
I walked today and we lost. I wore the white kit against Liverpool and Arsenal. What did we do? We actually beat them. So I don't think we see me with this on ever again. Certainly not on Sunday. It's the luckiest shirt I've ever owned. But if you look at superstitions, which I believe, then there you go. Anyway, like, comment, share, subscribe. And, um, I'll see you on uh, on Sunday.